what if you could have a camera as thin as hair go inside our body to monitor our health? What if you could have augmented reality and virtual reality headset as light as normal glasses? Forget about headset. What if you don't need to bear anything in our face to experience immersion? Wouldn't that be amazing? This vision might seem like science fiction. I'm here to tell you about emerging optical technology that can enable all of this soon. This technology is called metasurfaces, and it's all about surfaces that can control the light at a teeny, tiny scale. Let's put it in this way. Metasurfaces to optics are almost like first transistor to electronics. In the same way that transistor miniaturized vacuum tube, revolutionized electronics, and gave us our pocket computers, Metasurface can shrink optical component into ultra-thin flat surfaces with disruptive impact on transportation, healthcare, and entertainment. Compared to electronics, optics has a slightly longer history, only a few millennia. Optics began with development of lens with ancient Egyptian and Mesopotamian. In Roman time, they used to make emerald glasses, very expensive ones for uh, near-sighted people to watch gladiator games. For more civilized application, now we are using them in camera to take selfie. What has not been changed since ancient history is this, a bulky, bumpy chunk of glass. Just look at the back of your phone. Yes, this conventional lens takes volume, which has been the bottlenecks for a lot of precise application. To overcome this problem and recognize the full potential of meta lenses, a lens made by meta surface technology, one needs to first understand limitation of conventional one. A typical convex lens looks like a lens type. So it redirects ray of light toward the focal spot by refracting each ray at each position to a desired angle. In order to achieve high quality focusing, one needs to shape the lens precisely. And by precise, I mean a smaller than the wavelength of the light, which is around half a micrometer. This is a very demanding criteria to meet, particularly for a small lens, like the one we use in microscope, or very large lens, like the one we use in the telescope. This might explain why this five feet wide lens took five years to be built. The challenge coming from the fact that we need to follow a three-dimensional surface point by point with extreme accuracy. Here, you're sculpting glass in 3D, and your error grows in a cubic manner. That's x to the power of 3. Optics made with meta surfaces are completely flat. All of a sudden, you're painting instead of sculpting, and your error reduced to x to the power of 2. So Da Vinci, after all, was an engineer, then artist. So here I'm holding in a meta lens next to an objective lens. Meta lens is around 50,000 times thinner, much more cost effective than its counterpart, while having better focusing quality. Isn't that amazing? Basically, what you are seeing here, you cannot able to see the meta lens, because what you are seeing is a supporting glass. This is an example of meta lens, which is very, very thin. So we can make hundreds of them on a chip and use the same technology of electronics to fabricate them, which can be very fast. If we zoom in using a fancy scanning electron microscope, this is how building block of this meta lens looks like. A nanoscale array of dominoes and pillars can focus the light down to the smallest possible spot. Some of these pillar diameter are in the fraction of micrometer range, which is 1,000 times thinner than the human hair. At the beginning, these meta lenses only work for single color. But now, we are able to focus the entire color spectrum, similar to a normal lens. Just look at the pillar on our meta surfaces, an array of transistor on electronic circuit. 
Do you see the resemblance? The power and flexibility that this platform technology brings to optical device and system can enable things like lightweight AR glasses, teeny tiny camera that can go through your body to monitor your health, or even start in a new paradigm of disp uh, immersive display, which is my current passion. So for example, using conventional lenses, you can see this AR glass look like you're wearing two big Mac on your face. Using metal lenses, potentially we can shrink it to a flat, stylish glass. For another application, when I was at Harvard, I used this platform technology for medical imaging. Basically, we put one of these tiny lenses, engineered metal lenses, on a tip of an optical fiber to build in a hertz high-resolution camera, which could detect lung cancer at earlier stage. It is small size wasn't the only fascinating feature of this lens. We engineer its performance in such a way that it could uh, stay focused for a range much longer than a conventional lens. You now might realize why we call them meta lenses. So another application that this platform technology can make a huge difference is an autonomous vehicle. To be specific, for LiDAR system. A system that reconstructs 3D map of an area surrounding in a car. Today, to build a reliable LiDAR system, we need expensive and bulky optical component system, which are often more expensive than car itself. That's one of the reasons some of the pioneers in the autonomous car haven't used them yet. So far, I have focused on meta lenses, but the same platform technology, meta surface technology, can be used to mold the light at will. In the case of LiDAR, to steer the light. We are going even beyond these passive meta surfaces by integrating them with an active liquid crystal technology. Liquid crystal are the crystal that you can find in your flat panel LCD. So those letters literally stand for liquid crystal display. Liquid crystal are, are type of transparent strange crystal that can change property of the light when they are under electric field. They are the missing bridge between the world of optics and world of electronics. And finally, they are coming together. I hope I convinced you we are at a tipping point in optics. In some way, miniaturization wave that swept all over the electronics and gave us our uh, smartphone and our computer now is creeping its way to the realm of optics. So hold on tight. A new chapter is in optics is coming, and meta surfaces are going to transform your experience and interaction with cameras and display. So now is the time to see in the world through the lens of meta surfaces. Thank you very much.